which is the Fusion Applications default user under Oracle Fusion Applications on-premise server. So in order to find out this one, let's go on to Oracle Fusion Applications on-premise server front end. So I'm going to go to the browser now and type the URL to log in first. So I'm going to log in. Now, for your information, the default user is FA admin and whatever password you have set up at the time of installation provide that and then hit the sign in form so for the very first time when you sign in it may take like two three minutes time to log in depending on your server hardware configuration now look at this this dashboard is completely empty because there are no data at all in this fusion applications instance it has been just installed and it's not a vision instance it's a pure vanilla instance all right so if you want to explore it further you can see from this menu on the right hand side there are a number of things but the most important one I would say uh, something like setup and maintenance which is where you go and do the setting apart for Oracle Fusion Applications instance depending on your configurations and the provisioning that you have done for the different products in Fusion Applications. So if you click on this one it's gonna take you to this particular screen wherein the first part is plan. So it's purely a theoretical exercise wherein you plan or brainstorm with your business users to come out with an implementation plan as to how you are planning to implement Oracle Fusion Cloud in your organization. So there is no step as such as far as the planning is concerned as a part of the Fusion application setup steps it is something which happens outside the system okay and for that you've got to prepare a number of documents and those documents could be potentially prepared using the document templates from Oracle unified method templates or Oracle application implementation methodology templates so this is something which is outside the scope of this particular lesson so I'm going to discuss this part in another course but as of now you can simply go on to configure offerings wherein you must go and select all the offerings that you wish to implement in your organization once you have done that then the next step would be for you to create an implementation project but even before that something which is not written over here which is behind the scenes is you've got to create implementation users so FA admin user is a super user you can't really use that particular user to do an implementation it is something like sysadmin users if at all you're familiar with Oracle eBusiness suite so FA admin is nothing but like a sysadmin for fusion applications so you must create additional users for you to implement fusion applications which includes setting up of the different fusion functional families so once you've set up the user then you create an implementation project and as a part of project you've got to complete a whole number of tasks pertaining to each of the project families it could be as you can see the offerings as you can see you've got a whole lot of setup steps for these project families could be compensation management it could be fusion accounting hub grants management marketing materials management and logistics or any of these like projects procurement order orchestration supply chain orchestration and so on so as far as the setup steps are concerned again it all depends on what you have planned and what the organization wants in terms of implementation of fusion cloud and then the 
normal standard implementation methodology goes on as a part of this particular setup steps wherein you've got multiple conference room pilots with your business users and gradually you keep showing them the functionality of Fusion Cloud and keep refining it until the entire business data comes and sits into Fusion applications and which is where you have a user acceptance test and then you go live so that's all happens over here it seems to be a very simple step but it's huge it takes several months or it could take years to complete an implementation side of things and then the testing and user acceptance having said that the next step is as you could see export and import and in this one you manage configuration packages so you can as such export your setups which are lying in a specific implementation project and then import it in another fusion instance so it basically saves you a, hell, a lot of time in terms of creating new configuration in a brand new instance and last one I would say the maintenance side so this part is something after you've gone live so the transaction side but the maintenance side is something like BAU part of your fusion implementation project so BAU stands for business as usual which is where you perform your maintenance task it could be server maintenance or it could be business related maintenance which includes setups or transactional related maintenance in the fusion application server instance that has gone live all right so in the next movies i will be quickly discussing about the steps that you take to configure offerings and then we're going to start by first creating a fusion implementation user we'll then assign the roles to that users in fusion identity management server or also called as fusion idm or fusion middleware and then we will synchronize fusion idm with fusion application server will then come back to fusion applications and create a new project and then start working on tasks one by one so in the next movie i'm going to show you how you can go about configure your offerings <laughs>